Hi, hello, my name is Happy Jesus, and this is the Free to Play Corner. Today we're going to talk about my favorite game, Warframe. Now, a lot of people are going to think I'm biased about this because this is my favorite game, uh, but I'm not. There's a lot of cons with this game, but there's also a ton of pros. Alright, we're gonna get started with the cons. My first con about this game. Loki. Enough said. PvP. Possibly the buggiest PvP in any game I've ever played. From running headless to everyone in the map freezing up for five whole minutes then just dying for no reason. And my third and biggest complaint in the game is wait times. Almost everything in the game has to be crafted. And there's a wait time on everything that has to be crafted. Massive wait times. For some things, it can go up three days. That's three days of playing without that weapon that you just worked four days to get all the parts to. That's three days to not have the Warframe that you should be leveling up right now. But seriously, Loki sucks. Okay, now that we got the cons out of the way, let's work on the pros. First of all, mobility. Running on walls, various flips, sliding, back handsprings, all while given the ability to shoot and melee while doing all of these movements. Classes. 21 different unique and balanced classes, besides Loki, to choose from, not including a number of Prime classes which are upgraded versions of basic classes. Fun fact, Loki Prime is actually useful. There are 33 basic primary weapons, 36 basic secondary weapons, 41 basic melee weapons, not including prime weapons, and secret weapons you can get from clan halls. No specific type of weapon is bound to any specific type of Warframe, so you can mix and match your loadout as you please. Customization. Helmets, skins, animations, attachments, weapons, plates of armor, weapon skins, with the ability to change the color of all of it. The enemies aren't stupid, they'll call to each other and attempt to flank you, like average ones, and some are special. Some will knock you down, some will jump up with their jetpacks, um, others will give the others shields. Bosses. They're fun and they're difficult, that's all I really have to say about that. Quests. They're interesting and fun and have great outcomes, but the item that you get from that quest has to be built, which means wait times, which dependent on the item would be ridiculously long. Like three days! Mods. Everything you have uses mods. Your Warframe, your weapons, your pets, everything. I could go on for days about mods. Basically, they're trading cards that give you and your weapons and your pets and all that abilities. Now, of course, it's a free to play, so it has real in-game money that you actually spend money to get. Um, but the twist on this game is you can build up mods and then trade them for that in-game money. So there is absolutely nothing in this free-to-play game that you can't get totally free if you work for it. You can even use that in-game money to speed up the wait times. So if you're good at talking to people and work in the market and MMOs, you're going to absolutely love this game and you're going to get good really quick. Dun, 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 dun. This game gets a 4 out of 5 from me because as combat and gameplay and customization is so much fun, the wait times are just a little bit too long. That's all I really think they have to change, honestly. Besides Loki! So that's pretty much everything I have to say about this game besides it's so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope to see you online in this game. Loki. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs>